Nah, I'm feeling every fucking bit of that rap. That's why I tell Garrett, feel the rap. Like, feel the fucking rap from rap one to, to rap whatever you're gonna do. Feel every rap. Not just go through the motions. That there's nothing for your body, nothing for the physique, nothing for the growth. You wanna feel every rap, make every rap feel the same. I just come from fucking 20 years of knowledge and just doing it, you know? What's going on, everybody? Giant Killer here and two time 212 Olympic champion and now officially a Texan. Uh, as of a month ago, my family and I had decided to relocate from New Jersey to Texas. Uh, there are many reasons why. Great weather, great people, lots of tons of space and uh, just ultimately just uh, a new environment for the baby girl to grow up in. Uh, I've been in Jersey my whole entire life, never lived anywhere else, and uh, I felt like it was time, and uh, no, no better place than Saxon. So of course, being a gas the Better Bodies athlete, I will be training here at Destination Dallas, getting it in. Today is gonna be chest and a little bit of delts. Uh, again, one month here, but still getting it done, guys. Let's go. Alright guys, so we are deep in the off season here. Uh, I got about maybe another, one more month before we really pull the trigger and start bringing it down for Olympia. So next month, I'm actually at my heaviest I've ever been in my off season ever, uh, about 215 or so, uh, which again is heavy for me. But it just tells me we've been, still been getting the work done, still been putting put on that tissue that we definitely need. The areas of improvement, of course, have always been chest. Uh, for me, it's always been a, a lagging area. Everything else is, is there. Everything else is, is even. The way it needs to be, but for some reason, when I hit certain shots, the chest looks a lot smaller. Um, it could just be my frame. I have an hour frame. It could just be just that, but I'm not happy with it. So, the biggest thing I've been working on the past couple years has really been just bring up my chest ball area. So, for me being the level I'm at, um, I've actually over the years started shopping for accessories, pieces, things that I that I need for me personally, like cast handles, uh, certain types of mats, things like that to help my, enhance my physique and enhance my training. And I noticed you go to certain gyms, they don't have what you need, or if they do have it, they have one of it, or where something's missing, or I have to wait for it. Uh, by me having it all the time, I can do what I need to do. I uh, have no excuses to be able to get it done, so. It was worth to me. Um, that little mat right there is usually used for abs, ab training. Uh, but for me, it keeps me a little bit arch in my back. This way, it keeps my shoulders back, keep my chest big. This way, I'm just working strictly just my chest versus opposed to tucking forward and getting more delts. So, again, by literally pulling my shoulders blade back, chest up, this range of motion, come all the way down, good stretch, good contraction, keep it all the best. Oh. 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 
on the set, but also build that my muscle connection. I'm um, helping with hurting the muscle, engaging the muscle. And again, I always say, if you can pose here, when you're your most tired, most drained, when you get on stage, it's a piece of cake. Passion's still there, the love's still there. As long as all that's still there, I'm healthy, I'm, I'm injury free, family's well I'm taken care of, I'm gonna keep rocking and rolling, man. People can ask me, now that I'm 40 years old, 40 years old, oh my god, I can't keep saying that. <laughs> but I still believe, I can't believe I started this journey at 23 years old, now I'm 40, and again, it's still all still there. I'm still firing all the cylinders. And people keep saying, hey, you know, how much time do you have longer? You're 40. Because most of the guys I came up with, they're gone. They retired, they walked away. Uh, for me, I've always been smart in my training. I know my body, so thank God. I'm injury free, I'm healthy. Uh, I get my family healthy, taken care of. God knows how many years I have left, you know? Like I said, everything's still firing on cylinders, and everything's still, still running the way it needs to be. Five, 10 more years, who knows? <laughs> Chest is full as full as fuck right now. So I wanna finish up chest with one of the most basic movements anyone can do. Push-ups. Yes, it's a small movement. But when your chest is nice and full, you're just getting more blood into that area. Stretching that muscle out. So let's see how many reps I can get here. Always keep your head up. Get a good full of motion. Keep it in the chest the whole time. Go! Whoa! 
know the hardest part getting up. <laughs> you know, first, obviously, you know, moving is a big deal, but moving across the country is even a lot more stressful. I'm obviously got to call the movers, pack the house, get the cars moved. We literally stayed in the hotel for two weeks straight until we were able to get into the house. We got on a plane and, uh, Sunday and got to Texas and then obviously we had to wait for our stuff to get here from the movers. So we're still in the hotel for another week or so. Um, but once we got into the house, started you know unpacking things uh, little by little. You know, we're still not unpacked. It's been about a month now. And again, between her schedule, she works from home, she's got the baby. With me training, you know, the house is still uh, amok. We've got boxes everywhere, but the kitchen's done, the bedrooms are done, the main priorities, the baby's room is done, the main priorities are done. So everything else, again, we still have our lives to run. She has to work. Obviously, me training and traveling is priority. Um, so yeah, it was it was very stressful the first week or so. Um, but once I got in, again, like I got settled for the most part. You know, everything's just fine on all cylinders. Obviously, I knew I was gonna be training here at Destination. You know, it's good that everyone here knows me. And um, been training with a guy, Garrett, here, who's a bodybuilder as well. Been pushing me, I've been pushing him. You know, like I said, this is uh, surprisingly the biggest I've ever been in my off my growth season. Uh, 215 or so right now. So it just tells you that despite the traveling, the moving, the stress of having getting things, getting all that stuff done, I'm still able to train. I'm still able to get my meals in. Still be able to prioritize what needs to be done. This way, come November, I can bring home title number three. You know, when it comes to like you know my my growth season and trying to put on back on mass and quality mass at that, the biggest thing for me is just my coaches give me a lot of food. <laughs> Literally, we just revamped my plan again. You know, his thing is digestion. Am I able to take in all that food? Is there any bloating, any bad feeling? Is the stomach causing any issues from, you know, too much food? Because again, sometimes, you know, too much is too, you know, too much. But because, you know, I'm the way I train, I'm very intense. I'm still doing my cardio. The food is going down just the way it needs to be. Um, obviously, I'm not a big eater, but I still get the meals done. No bloating, everything feels good. He just likes to feed me and feed me and feed me until, again, we start to like, okay, this is it. So what I attribute to the new the size every year, really, is just the hard training I do. I'm a very, a very big on volume, um, pushing a lot of heavy weight. You guys, I've always believed and always followed the guys like Branch, Ronnie, Dorian. The more weight you're going to push, the more mass you're going to put on. You know, I don't ever walk into this room saying, I'm just going to go get a pump. I'm looking to put as much weight as possible on the machine and move as many times as I possibly can. That is what gets the muscle going and growing. Um, so between the training, the tons of food, and obviously keeping that cardiovascular health, which people don't realize cardiovascular health and cardio not only keeps you lean, but also allows you to take in more food because you're always, you're, you're, your metabolism is always working. Uh, so between those three things and, and rest, you know, I don't train more than five days a week anymore. Um, between those four things, my body has been able to get better and better every single year. Even at this age of 40, people are just, people are just surprised that, wow, you're, you're 40, you're still making progress, you're still making gains. Yes, because I listen to my body. I know what my body needs and what it doesn't need. I know when to push and I know when to pull back. And I've been doing the same thing every year since I started, begin, started competing in 2005. Um, so that's what I attribute, again, my success to right now. Yeah, I mean, also, you know, one big thing, and I kind of want to put this in the ear of a lot of younger competitors, both male and females, don't think you know enough, because you don't. I've been in this game 20 years, and I can tell you right now, I don't know everything. Again, what I believe has helped me succeed and able to progress is I'm always open to learning new things. I'm a sponge when it comes to this game. I've trained with the best of the best. Matt Jansen, John Meadows, Oscar Arden, Honey Rambod, I've learned from these people. I've trained with these people. I've talked to these people. I've sat down and picked their brains. And from each and every person, I've taken a few cues, a few tricks, and learned a few things and implemented it to my own, my own, uh, my own regimen. And uh, that's what keeps me going. But again, like, you guys gotta be open to tr trying new things. You try it, you like it, cool. If you try it, it doesn't work for you. No big deal. You scrap it. But at least you know that you tried it, you listened to it, and um, and, and you gave it a try. So.